15% of the world's children experience uh, deafness or disability. That's a significant population and our research and evidence at Deaf Kids International shows that this constituency is particularly at risk of online abuse. This is particularly because if as a deaf child you've not acquired language or communication or vocabulary, you don't have the means to say no. Also, um, this constituency isolated, marginalised, will spend a lot of time online and so therefore greater at risk from those that pursue or look for um, sexual engagement with children or have an interest in a sexual interest in children. Deaf Kids Defenders is aimed at empowering and resourcing deaf children aged 6 to 11 years old to be safe online. Our experience has shown that this is the age group that's particularly vulnerable to online abuse because they don't know the language or the vocabulary of abuse and so may not know what is happening to them. Working with some of the UK's leading computer game, PC game designers, we developed a set of PC games which enable deaf children to be superheroes, to uh, experience positive role models of deafness and to go through a sequence of games whereby they acquire safe behaviours around, for example, engaging with a trusted adult, saying no to abuse, resisting grooming and so on. So our project, Deaf Kids Defenders, looks to respond to this particular challenge, deaf-led, designed by deaf children, for deaf children. It's a world first. What's been particularly rewarding about Deaf Kids Defenders is that it has been designed by deaf children. Right from the beginning, we've engaged deaf children and said, what sort of computer game works for you? What elements should it include? And so the colour, the movement, the positive role models, the deaf children, deaf characters involved in this uh, PC game have been originated by deaf children themselves. So it's deaf-led, deaf-child-centric, and from that comes its authenticity, its credibility, and its legitimacy. That you know truly excites the team at Deaf Kids International that here we've got a piece of work that deaf children own, live, and breathe.